live here, to suffer on this earth eternally, as a punishment for my sin. It is said that no greater outrage was ever committed by any mortal. But should I find the crime more heinous, my terrible punishment will end. Come with me to Stotsholm Castle, a fortress built by the Vasas in ancient times. It is said that one of the ornate bedrooms is being haunted by a ghost. The ghost of Eric Kirsten, who met a violent death in the four-postered bed. Many mysterious murders are believed to have been caused by this apparition. It happened in recent years. Now man, with his callous curiosity, tries to televise this ancient ghost. One, two, three. Is the sound clear? Sound clear. If I were the director, I'd put the sound through an echo chamber, give it that ghostly touch. When you're the director, you do just that, not on my show. So, this is the bed where five people were murdered. Hmm, it's comfortable. I've been on some mad assignments, but this tops them all. Telecasting a ghost. All right, come on, Denise, let's get off of there. Let's go. It's not time yet. Four more minutes. All right, quiet, everybody. Let's hold it down. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Henry Waller. Tonight, we're broadcasting from Stoffsholm Castle in the middle of Sweden. That is the bedroom where five murders were committed by the Stoffsholm ghost. Now, this is the bed of notoriety where the bodies were found. The victims died with horror in their eyes at what they had seen. No one has been able to tell how they were murdered, but their deaths must have been violent and sudden. Now over here, we have a painting of Eric Kirsten. It is his ghost that is believed to still haunt this room. He was found strangled in this bed by his brother, who suspected Eric of being in love with his wife. Tonight, at midnight, we will try to telecast the ghost. This will be the first attempt to catch the image of an authentic ghost on the television screen. We hope he won't disappoint us, so stay tuned to the station to hear and see the Staff's Home Ghost at midnight. Cut. Honey, uh, switch over to station. What are you going to do if the ghost has a previous engagement and doesn't show up? Well, I think I can fill the time with interesting talk. I talked with August the caretaker. He said he heard the ghost the last few nights sighing and why? Well, naturally, he's interested in keeping the legend alive. This is no legend. I walked behind many coffins of people who did not believe in the ghost that haunts Stoff's home castle. He's convincing, isn't he, Henry? You're just the eyewitness I need. Would you tell the story of that room tonight at 12 o'clock? Miss Eva Kirsten, the present owner of Stoff's home castle, was a young girl when her grandfather was murdered in that bed in the ghost room. How old was he? 83. In the bloom of his manhood, his son Ole locked the room for four years. Then one night he slept in that bed. Did he die too? Not right away. But four months later, I found Mr. Ole Kirsten. His heart had stopped beating in fear and shock at what he had seen. How do you know it was fear? I'll never forget the terror in his wide open eyes. Mr. August, you tell that story just like that when we're on the air. We'll have an excellent show. Miss 
Amanda Kirsten, Aga, Brunhilde, Nils. They all died in that bed. Young people, old people. Well, why did they sleep in that bed? It wasn't a bed. Tea. Eric's ghost. Do you live here alone? Miss Eva Kirsten, the last of the Kirstens, refuses to live here. But she will return when her time has come. All Kirstens died in this house. You really seem convinced that there is a ghost. The night is getting cold. I'd better put some wood in the fireplaces. Wow. What a character. Mm. That ghost must be making a pile of money for him. Well, yeah. just think of all those tips he's getting. We advertise the ghost over TV and he cashes in on it. Should pay for a spot announcement. I wouldn't joke about it. No. Too many people have died. Coincidence. Must be possible. After all. What? That ghost exists? Yeah. Are you kidding, Mr. Waller? No, sensitive people can tell when a murder's been committed in a room. That doesn't work with me. Even dogs sense when somebody is dying. Yeah. They howl yeah. when the body is miles away. Yep. Douglas. Have you ever tried to lead horses past a spot where a man has been murdered? They shy. You're kidding, both no, of you. No, this no. telecast is a serious experiment. It's serious. You almost convinced me. Now, wouldn't it be a sensation if we could hear the ghost during the telecast? I hope that ghost of yours will show up tonight. We have a million people watching. A million? Sure, we're on a continental hookup. The Scandinavian countries, France, England. We don't want to disappoint our audience. It is impossible to communicate with the ghost of Mr. Eric Kirsten. He but might not be willing to become an object of human curiosity. We might be able to assist your ghost. Assist him? You know what I mean. No. Nobody would need to know that I stay in this room. Not even Mr. Waller. Why do you want to stay here? The door would be closed, the camera would be outside. I'll stay in here and produce a few eerie sounds. Mm. How did that sound to you? Genuine? I don't agree with you. I only thought of making our telecast a success. But there is a ghost in this room. We all ready? Two seconds. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Henry Waller, reporting to you from Staffsholm Castle in Sweden. Tonight, we're going to broadcast the Staffsholm Ghost and, if possible, telecast him. We hope the apparition won't disappoint us. But right now, I have with me Mr. August, who has lived his entire life in this haunted castle. Let's ask him a few questions. Oh. Mr. Rogan. Ah. Wait, what's that? No. Oh. Don't. He's been choked to death. I didn't know Douglas was hiding in this room. How did he get in? I don't know. The room was empty when I closed it. I made sure of it. He must have been hiding behind one of these doors. Did he? 
Why do you ask me? I hardly talk to the man. Excuse me, will you? Mr. Waller. Yes? Your telecast was a hoax, wasn't it? Was it? I wish it were. Douglas would be alive. I'm sorry I can't bring any charges against you and your company. Well, why don't you? Go ahead. Dream up all sorts of charges. And get you some more publicity? It's horrible to think that millions of people must have witnessed it. Look, six deaths just don't happen. There must be some concrete facts about this ghost. I wish you could name me one. Just one. And let me take over from there. Mr. Robertson? Yes? There was a smell in the room. A strange smell. I don't remember anything. Can you describe it? No, but it seemed familiar. Well, the coroner's report was heart failure. The case is closed. Well, not for me, it isn't. Any suggestions? Yes. I'd like to spend the night in that room. I think about 12 o'clock, the ghost might just show up. I don't think any ghost played any part in those cases. I'm staying with Henry. Your people are leaving. Don't you think you are taking an undue risk by not going with them? Don't worry about us, Mr. Robertson. Sorry, but I have to close that room. Uh, wait till tomorrow. And if anything should happen to you... Well, there's your proof. It wasn't just a coincidence after all. Well, I can't stop you. Kirsten Family Bible. Well, look at these dates. Mm -hmm. Canute Kirsten died in December, Sven in January, mm -hmm. Banged in February, and Thor in December. December and January. They all died in winter. Funny about it. Well, the ghost seems to appear only in the winter. I wonder what he's doing in the summer months. Oh, I'm serious. This is a clue. Well, you figure this one out. What are you looking for? This may be one of those beds the Borgias used mm. to kill her enemies in. Do you feel anything? No poison pen popping up. Oh, let me warn you again, Mr. Waller, I don't like to see you in this room. I wish you would leave. We have decided to stay right here until dawn. The world consists of fools. Those could have come down the chimney. No. Huh? No. They can't cross the fire. It's against their rules. They say that ghosts can materialize out of nowhere. I know. And that's what I want to find out. This thing hasn't been opened up in years. I don't know, ghost. Ghoulies and ghosties and long-legged long beasties, beasties and things, things that, that go, go bump, bump in, in the, the night. night. Dear Lord, deliver us. Wallpaper. Green leaves, the same as in this room. <sighs>
What's happened? The, the, the ghost. Oh, don't be afraid. He's gone. Oh. Did you also see the ghost, Mr. Waller? Yes. He looked like that man in the painting. There was that, that smell in the room. The, the same smell before I passed out. Stand back. Smell it now? Burnt almonds. Yes. Distinctly almonds. Paris green. What's that? Arsenic green. Old wallpapers often were printed with a vivid green, which contains arsenic. If you burn it, the fumes are poisonous. They produce hallucinations and heart failure. Hallucinations and death. That's right. I, I learned that from my chemistry lessons. Yes. How did the wallpaper get into the fireplace? With the firewood? Douglas was hiding. But he couldn't have found out about this place by himself. Somebody must have told him. Oh. I don't dare to think of it, Henry. And you say you didn't know about the wallpaper? How could I? You fixed the fireplace. Nobody else. You must have put some of this lethal wallpaper into the hearth. Are you accusing me of murder? I'm investigating, Miss Robst. You better get yourself a lawyer. I don't need a lawyer. I know the ghost exists. The chemical analysis of the ashes in the fireplace will be evidence. Why don't you arrest me? I told you, this is an inquiry. You believe I killed to lure tourists to the castle? That I killed just to make a few kroner? I don't know your motives. But there is a ghost. I've seen it. This is for the jury to decide. I think we have a chance finding August. This castle has too many rooms. He knows and we don't. But I phoned for additional police assistance to capture him. He can't get away. Henry, no, please. You're right. I'm no policeman. Let's get out of here. Henry! The secret panel, wasn't it open when we left? Secret panel? 